A slow cooker isn't just for savoury food, you can use it for desserts too. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Now this is a lovely dense sponge topped with loads of oozy raspberry jam. It's a simple recipe, you just let the slow cooker do its work and you end up with an amazing dessert. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by preheating the slow cooker to a high setting. Grease the inside of a 2 pint or 1.2 litre pudding basin with unsalted butter and put to one side. Now I'm going to prepare the cake mixture using my stand mixer, but you can use a hand mixer or just use a bowl and do it by hand if you prefer. Add in 180 grams or 6.3 ounces of soft unsalted butter along with 180 grams, which is about a cup minus one tablespoon of caster sugar. Beat them together for a couple of minutes until light and creamy. Add in three medium eggs, one at a time whilst we're mixing the mixture. Don't worry if it looks like it's split a little bit, it will come back together. Now we're going to take it off the mixer and stir in one tablespoon of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to fold in 180 grams, which is about one and a half cups of plain all-purpose flour, along with two teaspoons of baking powder. Gently fold the mixture until it's fully combined. Now I'm going to add some jam to the bottom of the pudding basin. I'm going to use about seven tablespoons of raspberry jam, but you can use your favourite flavour of jam. So add that jam into the bottom of your greased pudding basin, then carefully spoon the cake mixture on top. Now we're going to cover the top of the bowl with some parchment. Secure the parchment with a piece of string tied tightly under the rim of the pudding basin. Now place the basin, parchment side up, into the slow cooker. Now we're going to add in boiling water from the kettle into the slow cooker bowl, around the sides of the basin, so it comes up to about three quarters of the way up the pudding basin. Now we're going to place the lid on and cook on high for two and a half hours. Once cooked, carefully remove from the slow cooker and remove the string and parchment, but be careful as steam will escape as the paper is removed. Place an upside down plate on top of the pudding basin and carefully invert, turning the jam sponge out onto the plate. Serve with cream, ice cream, or my personal favourite, lashings of creamy custard. And that's my super simple, slow cooked, steamed jam sponge. I really hope you enjoy it. I know I'm gonna. Mm. Mm -hmm. 